Today I'm looking at the TacLife S2 Advanced Laser Measure, which was sent to me by TacLife for this review. Now the TacLife S2 is available in several different maximum measuring capacities, but the unit I'm looking at today is the 131 foot or 40 meter version, and I'll leave a link to this version below. The S2 is a budget laser measure, and throughout this review, I'm going to compare it to its direct competitor, the Bosch GLM35. The Bosch GLM35 is almost double the price of the S2, but it's the gold standard when it comes to laser measuring devices. However, despite being a budget-friendly option, the S2 doesn't look cheap or flimsy. The body is made from a combination of red and black plastic. There's also an orange and black version, and I'll leave links to both versions below. The build quality is actually pretty good, and the S2 is very comfortable to hold and use. It really doesn't feel unusually bulky. However, what I did notice was that it was significantly larger and a bit heavier than the Bosch. The S2 isn't unusually large, but the Bosch is definitely much more compact. The S2's display turns on when you press down the power button and is pretty clear and sharp even in the dark thanks to its very useful backlight. The S2 comes loaded with almost every feature you'd find on the Bosch, and these features are controlled through the 10 buttons on the front. Though the interface does look a bit cluttered at first, taking a measurement is fairly simple. Once the device is powered on, press the red measure button once to turn on the laser, point to where you'd like to measure and hit the measure button again. The measurement displays on screen and the laser dot turns off. Now to keep measuring, simply hit the red button again and then hit it once more to measure. And the last measurement made appears on the bottom in larger font, while the last two measurements before that have scrolled up right above it. And even after you've measured something, you can hit the unit button to convert that measurement to a different unit of measurement. Like from inches to meters, for example, a very useful feature. In addition to just being able to measure basic distances, the S2 also has a few more useful useful features up its sleeve. For example, it has an area and perimeter mode where you can measure the length and width of a space and it automatically calculates the floor area and the perimeter of the room. Similarly, it also has a volume option that allows you to quickly calculate the cubic volume of a space with three simple measurements. You can also quickly add or subtract two different measurements using the add or subtract button. The S2 also has a built-in level to ensure that the device is level when you take a measurement and this should help with the accuracy. And the S2 also saves the last 20 measurements or calculations you've made, and you can access these by hitting the scroll button in the middle. The S2 also comes with a belt clip and a lanyard in case you need either of these. Now that we know how it works, how accurate is it? Before we test its accuracy, a note about batteries for these laser measures. The S2 does come with a cheap set of AAA batteries. I would actually recommend getting rid of these and replacing them with some branded Duracells or Energizers. A poor quality battery can affect the accuracy of the device. And so should you get the TacLife S2? My general rule with measuring tools is that accuracy usually pays for itself. It ensures you cut things to the right size or measure quantities accurately the first time. So getting the job right the first time does, in my opinion, pay off. So in terms of accuracy and size, I seem to prefer the Bosch GLM35 and recommend it. However, if you're on a budget and just need a decent laser measure for household use, the TacLife actually works pretty well. While it's not as accurate as the Bosch, it works really well, has a lot of great features, and is much less expensive than the Bosch. In case you're looking to buy one, I'll leave links to both these devices below the video. Hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.